Isn't it nice to know you already believe in it? It is. Now you just need to apply your faith. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Third John, let's read verse 1. The elder under the well-beloved Gaius, whom I love in the truth. Beloved, I wish or pray above all things. He wishes or prays above all things that you mayest prosper. Is that an evil word? No. no. Prosper, you would think so. Some people would say it is. Prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. Are you here? Mm -hmm. Whose will is this? It's God's will that you prosper and be in health well we've talked a little bit about prosperity right if you remember that five minutes ago maybe yes. and God's will is that you prosper and not just prosper having your needs met but being abundantly supplied his will is that you prosper and be in health yes, well one part of healing I hope you're here listening one part of healing is youth renewal mm -hmm. it's one way that God heals things that came on because of older age could be a back problem that's a general thing right you hear or other things that come on people because of old age well God's method of healing that is by renewing the youth now do we believe in youth renewal here yes, yes and we preach on it often and I felt the need to say some things about youth renewal again today well I heard that once before well you need to hear it and hear it you're not getting any younger right you need to hear it so that your youth is renewed but if God wants to heal something that came on you because of getting older one method is to renew the youth in that particular area to where it's no longer a problem turn back time before it was a problem you see say my youth is being renewed well how do you think that happens by hearing comes by faith the same way everything comes by so I just wanted to bring this up when Jesus returns imagine this so that means he's not here we're really big on that at this place right Jesus returning which means he had to go away first why is that's the problem with so many people I don't know but he when he when he returns think of this when Jesus returns how old do you expect him to be pretty much the same right mm -hmm. is he gonna be like 2,000 years old what does a 2,000 year old person look like <laughs> no one expects that everyone expects him to show up around 30 some years of age uh -huh. don't they yes. then you believe in youth renewal yes. now whether you apply it or believe it for yourself that's that's a different story but the fact is youth renewal exists and it's part of God's kingdom and we're supposed to pray God's will on this earth as it is in heaven I would I pray above all things that you prosper and be in health I'm praying according to God's will youth renewal is God's will so when Jesus returns no one expects him to be you know look like a raisin right show up in some kind of high-tech heavenly wheelchair a gurney that's that's just ridiculous no one expects that and yet you talk about youth renewal and they're like ah. no you believe in youth renewal you do if you believe that when Jesus returns he's not gonna be are you getting this mm -hmm. isn't it nice to know you already believe in it yeah. it is now you just need to apply your faith he's the God you serve he renews your youth that's one thing he does and he's good at it youth renewal go to a Romans chapter 8 let's look at verse 11 but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken the word quicken means to make alive your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwells in you so the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you what's he gonna do quicken he is a spirit the spirit of the living God and he quickens you and renews your youth and heals you mm -hmm. who does this Holy Ghost Holy Ghost of God in the earth today Holy Ghost
Chuck 